Hey, what's up, guys? Straight up MTG here. Back to you again with another draft deck tech. These might be getting kind of old, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do another deck tech. I think probably a budget standard deck that I'll be doing. So hopefully you guys will like that. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Nine planes. This was a green white deck, and then we have eight forests. Uh, we have one Razorfoot Griffin. Uh, great. Against Welkin turn. Especially, uh, uh, one Marked by Honor. You can put that on a lot of the tokens that this deck makes. And, uh, it just becomes pretty good against a lot of decks because it can block and then attack again and block again. So, Vigilance is really a great mechanic. And then we have one Oppressive Raise. This was like my only sort of removal sort of thing in the deck. I mean, I also had, I mean, Venom Sliver and Hunt the Weak. But other than that, this was really the main spell. Three Raise the Alarm, one of them Foil, which was pretty cool. Um, I got a lot of tokens out of these. Uh, one time I raised the alarm three times in one game. I raised the alarm, bro. No, but, uh, well. Uh, so I got this off three times in a game, and it was just overwhelming for the other player. Uh, then we have two Sanctified Charge. All the tokens that this deck makes are white, so this really is just a boost. I'll have a good six to 12 tokens out on the field. And when I do this, they're dead, pretty much. Once they're, d I usually get them down to about 10, between 14, that kind of area. And then I can swing in with my entire team, give them all plus two, plus one, and first strike, and it usually can win. One Heliod's Pilgrim to search up the oppressive rays uh, marked by honor, and... I think there might be one more enchantment, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so this kind of acted as a 1-2 body too, a blocker, and a uh, tutor for either a removal card or a sort of pump spell sort of thing. Two triplicate spirits. Also the main thing for um, generating tokens. So this worked really well. Uh, one Kinsbale Skirmisher was just kind of a filler spot. Just an extra body that makes your other guys bigger. One Venom Sliver. Uh, more of a blocker sort of control card. Uh, it made them keep from swinging their fatties in because I could just block and kill it with the Venom Sliver. Which was really useful. Uh, we have one Ancient Silverback. Just a fat body that can come back like a lot and then we have one hunt the week when you use it with the silver back you can kill a creature that has seven toughness and then regenerate it and that's five mana to kill a creature that's huge so uh, that's really a great uh, card and it also the plus one plus one counter stays on the uh, creature that you target it with so that's also useful I have sort of a pump spell. Then we have two Shaman of Spring, mainly just a draw card. A lot of times I would sacrifice this to Life's Legacy after draw three cards. I mean any card draw in green is always playable. Then we have two Living Totem. Um, so it, it really can uh, pump your team and when you get a lot of tokens out you can cast this for free a lot. Well not for free but use the entire thing with Convoke, and uh, it's really a great card to just get another body out there, and again, make your guys bigger like Kinsvale Skirmisher. Then we have one Siege Worm. With all the tokens we were making, I could cast this guy on turn four or five, which was really a great early body to just get out onto the field. One Netcaster Spider, also like an anti-Welkin turn, uh, other cards that are like two power flyers but uh anyway just a great card 
maybe the best green common along Seedworm is also pretty good. But uh, I actually got some good commons and uncommons. And then the last two cards are my only two rares, which are two life's legacy. I got past both of these. All the rares I opened were crap. And uh, so I just had to make with all the uncommons and commons. I didn't really have any huge rare bomb like a lot of the other decks did, but it did function pretty well. So uh, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments if it's getting kind of boring to see uh, draft decks any every week. And I think literally leave a comment on anything that you want to see. I'm kind of at a stall for content right now. Um, so yeah, just tell me anything that I can do and I'll hopefully go try and do it. But don't comment and be like, oh, open a revised booster box, because we all know that that's so expensive and that's just kind of not even in the question. So thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on what kind of material you'd like to be seeing uploaded on this channel. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.